peeling, chopping. Yeah, you're peeling, chopping. I can't believe you're following my guide. Put <laughs> 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 a change. Okay. What are you this is going to be Jamie Oliver's second butter chicken video, and hopefully it will be much better than the first one. Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, then you should definitely see it after watching this video so you have a comparison between the two. Because from the thumbnail, this one I think will be a little better. My name is James Makinson. I've been cooking as a chef for many years in the United States and over here in Europe, and I do have plenty of other recipe videos on my YouTube channel as well, not just reaction videos. So if you do happen to enjoy this video or some of my other videos, then by all means share, like, and subscribe as it does help my channel greatly. And let's get started. What up, food tubers? Mr. Oliver here. Today is a very exciting day because I am going to get the chance to cook with an incredible Indian cook, the lovely Monica Gowada. Hello, darling. Hi, Jamie. We're going to cook some amazing food. Yeah, this is a good thing. Hopefully, she's going to be showing, not just all of us, but showing, um, well, Jamie on how to make it a little more properly than how we saw it last time. The dish is murg makhani. So murg means chicken and makhani means butter. It's full of flavor. It's decadent, so you've got the sweet, sour, spicy, hot, tangy, all of it. What can I do to tell the story? You can now. Um, I'm peeling, chopping. Yeah, you're peeling, chopping. I can't believe you're following my guide. <laughs> 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 okay. What I yeah, I think it's for the best. It really is. What I need you to do is we'll first make the marinade for the chicken tikka mm. itself. So I've got your four cloves of garlic, your inch of peeled ginger, half of this chili, please. Jim. Half of that chili. So we make a little paste of that. Okay, that's perfect. Let's now, have a look at that. I've taken about four tablespoons of Greek full fat yogurt, mm -hmm. and I've also added some chickpea flour, which yeah, is gram one. flour, so about two tablespoons. So just give that a quick stir. Chickpea flour to the marinade. It's interesting. I wouldn't think that you would need it. For those that don't know what chickpeas are, chickpeas are garbanzo beans. And in Spain, they use the term garbanzos, which it's the same term that we use in the US. Sometimes we use different names for the same ingredient, like for eggplant. Eggplant we use in the US and in the UK we use aubergine, or even in France because it's a French word. The same thing with zucchini in the US and courgettes in the UK. Give that a quick stir. Um, just to guys, if you've never used ground flour before, it's just ground down dried chickpeas. So no lumps in that, Jamie? No. Sure? No, well, I am now. <laughs> Stay on them. Keep them busy. Okay, along with that, just a few more mm -hmm. ground spices. So I'm using some coriander. Mm -hmm. That's about a teaspoon. Though. Yeah, a teaspoon. Pinch of cinnamon. Now this is Kashmiri chili powder. So this recipe, as we can see, is a little different from some of the other recipes that we have reviewed with like Chef Ranvi. In the previous video, Chef Ranvi was using some Digi Mitch, which is another spice blend. From what I know, it's a blend of Kashmiri chilies, these, and some bell peppers. It does help give a lot of color to it. And like most chilies, it does give a little bit of flavor because every ingredient adds something to a dish. It's really smoky. It's got a good amount of heat as well, but it's got color. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, to give you a little bit of clarification on how hot these chilies are, if we were to rate these on the Scoville scale, these only rate between 1,000 to 2,000 on the Scoville unit. Now again, there are many other factors that affect a pepper's heat level, and this may be a little spicy, especially for Jamie, because if we look at all the videos that we have reviewed with Jamie, all of them, he has always tried to make them a little or a lot less spicy than what they should be. Again, not everybody likes spiciness. It's not everyone likes spice. I love it. I absolutely love spice, um, but not everyone. And some people can't tolerate it. And you also got some cumin powder. And this is a pinch of saffron, which actually mm. adds a color to the marinade as mm. well. So in with all the ground spices and a pinch of salt. Great to do this overnight if you can in the refrigerator, yeah. but if you can't, even 20 minutes, half an hour is perfectly fine. Obviously, if you are in a rush, you can, um, well, cut corners. It won't have the same amount of flavor because it, it does take a little bit of time for the chicken to absorb the flavors from the marinade. So if you can do it overnight, it's perfect. Half an hour is a little short. Two hours would be better, but by no means 10 minutes. Not like in the very first video. So the ginger, the garlic, and the chili in the marinade. Yeah. Now, what do we do next? I'll just stir Mix this in. it, and then you add the chicken to okay. it. She's starting to enjoy this. She keeps telling him what to do. Good. You're going for uh, chicken thighs, about As an inch in size. Why would you do that? 
I think um, much more succulent cut of meat and also mm. I find it's still quite moist when you add it to the gravy. So what's next? Next, uh, to skewer them on. Okay. I don't want to give too many spoilers for that first video, but if you haven't seen it, let's just say that chicken thighs, well, they weren't really used in that recipe. Now we'll just grill this. You want the edges to be nice mm. and charred and you want the meat still to be quite moist. So once it's done, then we can add it to the curry. Now guys, to keep in mind, when working with a lot of rings on your hands and touching like a lot of raw products like raw chicken and everything else, you can do whatever you want at home, but just keep in mind that it is not the most hygienic thing and it may be easier to just take the rings off if they come off. <laughs> if they don't come off, that's another thing. But if they do come off, it may be easier just to take them off Set them aside, work with the ingredients that you need to, sanitize, clean your hands, and then you can put them back on. And that way you don't have to clean the rings as well. Okay, now we make the gravy or the sauce for it. So add about half of this butter in the pan, Jimmy, please. Okay. And peel and grate half an inch of ginger and the chili, half paste, and de seed and just lengthwise just julienne. Along with it, I'm adding a few spices. So I've got cassia here. Now I have a little taste. Sure. This is the outer. Oh, li licorice. Almost like that, but this is the outer covering of the cinnamon. And I've got six pods of green cardamom and about four mm. or five cloves. Now this will add the warmth to the gravy. And they'll start to sizzle mm. in the pan. Jamie, if you could please add the chili and the ginger as well. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I stay on them. Make him make that sauce and remember how it's made. Half of this onion. And you don't want them to brown or color. You just want them to kind of soften. Mm. Gorgeous three heaped teaspoons of tomato puree. So you want that little bit of color. Now the Kashmiri chili powder. Okay. So a good heaped teaspoon of that. And a good teaspoon of coriander powder mm. as well. Nice. So now all the spices are going in. So they're gonna kind of cook all the way through as well. Mm. Double cream. And I think in some parts of the world you call it heavy cream. Heavy Basically cream. this is the richer cream. Jamie's right, double cream is richer and has more fat content in it than heavy cream. But if you can't get double cream, you can't substitute. But other ingredients such as sour cream and creme fraiche are two separate things. Sour cream is less fatty, creme fraiche has more fat content to it, and it's less tangy than sour cream. Creme fraiche is also a little thicker. I'm also adding some honey. It's a teaspoon of honey. There's a few more things I want to add to it. Dried fenugreek leaves. Chef Ranvi also added honey in his buttered chicken. Now a lot of people do say you shouldn't cook with honey because it can be toxic if you start to heat it up. We do make some things with honey. We use it in breads, we use it in pastries, and we also use it in the savory kitchen. Fresh coriander yep. and a pinch of salt. So all we need to do is actually add the chicken to the sauce, leave it to sort of soak in all the flavors. So you can see the charred edges, those bits is what's actually gonna add all the flavor. The flavor. Perfect. So, it smells incredible. Mm. Give it a stir, please, Ron. For those that don't know what butter chicken is, it was created originally to save some very dried out or older tandoori chicken. And tandoori chicken is chicken that has been cooked in a tandoor oven, which is a cylindrical oven. It's a different method of cooking, but it adds a little bit of a smokiness to this dish. And that's why in some of the previous videos, we did see, like with Chef Ranvi, that he added smoke to this dish to help infuse it because it's a little difficult to try to replicate all these flavors in the oven. It's possible, you can do it, you can get it very close, but you know, it's just like that one little thing that just helps make it a little bit better. Give it a stir, please, Ron. Wow. You can coat all the chicken so it soaks in the flavors of the, of the gravy as yeah. well. If you can add a little bit of lemon juice. And how much would you like? That'd be perfect, brilliant. For any Indian chef watching, what are your thoughts on adding lemon juice to this? We did see Chef Renvi add just a little bit of kevra water. I probably mispronounced that, so if I did, I apologize. But in any way, he added a little bit of that, as he said, to just balance all the flavors to bring them together. And it does give that curry a nice little finish. The colors are phenomenal. It smells outrageous. And we've got some salad, so I've got a pickled onion salad, sliced onions, lemon and salt. And just some lettuce. Simple green lettuce. Um, we've got our chutneys. The reason we do this channel is because of this. At least the chutneys are not being added to the butter sauce. So, you know, this is good. This is much better. Boom. And we go for some of the chicken in the sauce. That meat is tender. Yeah, nice and moist and succulent. Perfect. 
Mm. Yay! <laughs> it's so good. Monica, thank you for coming into the world of food tube. No, food absolute tube is, pleasure. How lucky are we to have a give no. us this wonderful authentic a recipe? A pleasure and privilege to cook for everybody and for you <laughs> and with you. It's been brilliant. Phenomenal. That's butter chicken. Please, please try it. Thank you so much. Until next time. Lots of love. It looks much better than the previous video that we did see, uh, well, Jamie make, but then again, he had Monica helping him make this. They make a good team. They really do make a good team. If she tells him what to do, it turns out nice. In any case, guys, let me know your thoughts down below on some of the processes and the ingredients. The way that she made it was a little different. It's probably more on how you would make it at home is a very simple method on making it. And hopefully guys, you did enjoy this video. If you did, then be sure to share it, like, and subscribe, and head over to the other butter chicken video here if you haven't seen it already, or even if you have, just to have another laugh. And hopefully I will see you guys again soon. Until next week, take care.